Hello everyone, I'm Daniela and welcome back to Black Cat Kitchen. We're on day eight of the 12 days of Christmas cookies and today we're making Linzer cookies. Linzer cookies are a gorgeous sandwich biscuit with a hole cut out of the top biscuit so you can see the beautiful jam inside. You can use any jam your family likes, but I'm using raspberry and apricot. Let's get started. You'll find a list of ingredients and measurements in the description below. Preheat your oven to 180 degrees Celsius or 350 degrees Fahrenheit. Into a mixing bowl, add 270 grams or two and a quarter cups of flour, 120 grams or one and a quarter cups of almond flour, four grams or one teaspoon of ground cinnamon, two grams or half a teaspoon of nutmeg, and one gram or one quarter teaspoon of salt. Give that a whisk so it all combines together. Set it aside while we prepare our wet ingredients. To a mixing bowl, add 227 grams or one cup of softened butter. We're going to let that start to cream together until it's nice and smooth. I've scraped down the sides and now I'm adding in 150 grams or three quarter cups of sugar. Once they've combined together, add in two large egg yolks. Using just the egg yolks keeps the biscuit really lovely and tender. We're also going to add in four grams or one teaspoon of vanilla. Keep scraping down the sides of the bowl as necessary. Now start to add in your dry ingredients. I'm adding them by the spoonful because I usually make a mess, but you're welcome to just add them all in one go. You should end up with a consistent but soft dough. We're going to wrap this in some cling film and let it chill for at least an hour or up to three days in the fridge. Just like every time I'm going to be rolling something out, I like to pat down my dough until it's fairly flat before I wrap it and chill it. This makes the rolling process so much easier. Once your dough is chilled, sprinkle your work surface with some flour. Roll your dough about an eighth of an inch thick. Cut out your biscuits using a round cutter. Mine has a lovely fluted edge. Each cookie will have a top and a bottom. Once you have two trays completely full, set aside the first and using a smaller cookie cutter, cut a little decoration in the center of the biscuits on your second tray. Once your cookies are on their tray, you'll want to chill them for a further 20 minutes to make sure they hold that perfect shape. These are going to bake for about 12 minutes. Let your cookies cool at least 20 minutes until they're room temperature. I like to line up all of the tops of my biscuits on a separate piece of parchment paper before dusting them with icing sugar. By dusting them now, it makes sure that you can really see that jam shine through your little decoration in the middle. I'm using about half a teaspoon of jam on the bottom half of my cookies. Apricot jam is the most traditional and it tastes delicious with the almond flour in these cookies. Gently place the tops of your biscuit on top of your jam so that the jam just starts to press up through the decoration. I've never met a single person who hasn't fallen in love with these cookies. Thanks so much for stopping by. If you love this cookie, please give us a big thumbs up. And if you missed any of our previous videos, check out my 12 Days of Christmas Cookie playlist here. And make sure to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss the next view. See you tomorrow.